Hello, Court and Rick. It's quite the story. He is an El Monte native, a young entrepreneur, only 20 years old. His longtime dream was to open up his own athletic shoe store, which he did in this shopping plaza here in El Monte. That's it right behind me. It's called Exchanged Hype. You can see the busted out, boarded up front door there. He was planning to be here for several years, but was only here for five months because of crime. Shattered glass, broken dreams. This is surveillance footage of a group of bandits breaking into an athletic shoe store called Exchanged Hype. This was earlier this year, and the place had only been open two days before criminals decided to treat themselves to some free high end sneakers. The young shop owner cleaned up, rebuilt, dusted himself off, and kept on going until an attempted break in at the beginning of August, apparently involving the same group. Forced him to put up a closed sign permanently. Yeah, it just hit me hard, and I just don't know what to do anymore at this point. Just a lot of money, a lot of like mentally, like I'm only 20, you know, and it just like it hurts me a lot to like close it because it's for my store. Gonzalez explains he's always had an entrepreneurial spirit as well as a courageous one, inspired by the comic book superheroes he loves. Everything fell into place in February, allowing him to open his very own athletic shoe store in Tito's Plaza. He is studying business administration in college and working evenings at McDonald's to pay his bills. Gonzalez tells us the shoe store was more about people than profits, especially with a fledgling business. I'm not, I don't feel safe to be here anymore, and it's just sad. My door's broken, my gate's broken, glass broke, the floor's broken, there's a little hole. My shoes are scattered everywhere. And he ended up leaving with three pairs that were not even the right shoes. Like, it doesn't make any sense. He left with one left of a Jordan 3, one right of a Jordan 4, different sizes. It was crazy. Efren Gonzalez believes the criminal justice system needs to get tougher with these types of culprits. He plans to continue with an online business or swap meets on occasion. He says the brick and mortar business model, though, right here, right now, is just too much of a headache. Efren Gonzalez estimates his total losses with store damage and stolen merchandise and so forth, total about $10,000. He has filled out reports with the local police and asks that anyone with information come forward. For now, reporting live in El Monte, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.